And of course, those Vikings on Care 11 Sunday night as well. Now, if you missed the first uh, hour of our show, then you've already missed all three of our holiday cookie recipes that we actually made for you. But you can, of course, grab those if you grab the cookbook, the Great Minnesota Cookie Book. And don't worry, you can find all those recipes on our Care Facebook page and online. All the recipes are tried and true favorites from families all over Minnesota, winners from the past 15 years of the Star Tribune's Holiday Cookie Contest. I want to welcome food editor Lee Dean and restaurant critic and staff writer Rick Nelson. It's Thank great you. to have both Thank of you, you here. Thanks for happy. Us here. Yes. You know, people look forward to having that winning cookie recipe in their Star Tribune. I mean, it's just been a classic for so many years. Yeah, they really do. And we hear from readers all the time that they are waiting for the the winner, the the finalists, and then they set up a gathering and. Bake off all Bake of them. Bake it up. That's right. So, and that's exactly what's going to happen in about a week and a half. You're going to actually mm -hmm. tell who the winner is. Now, yeah. if you want to actually go into the contest next year, mm -hmm. how do you do that? Watch for the for the announcement, which is always in September, and and really, it's just sending us a recipe, and we a have. Recipe, yeah. <laughs> oh, so you don't actually send the cookies, and you just send the recipe. No, in? Correct, and, oh, okay. and we make the cookies, and, oh, and you and make them and test okay, them. Perfect. And, yeah. yeah. So for 15 years, you've been doing this, right. and they all have wonderful stories behind them, mm -hmm. and so you've decided to come up with a cookbook. What 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 a good idea. It's a beautiful cookbook. Thank you, thank you. And readers have really wanted that because you can only hang on to so many newspaper clippings yeah, and pretty soon it just gets kind of messy. So, yeah. The Great Minnesota cookbook. All right, so yeah. let's talk about so, the cookies. Are we starting yeah. here? Mm -hmm. Sure. We're we starting with the palmiers, yep. right? Almond? Almond palmier. Yeah. Okay, they're so pretty. Oh my gosh. And these are pretty simple. They look very, very fancy, but they're very pretty. They're um, by Kay Kerberher from St. Paul, uh, which is Really great. Mm -hmm. These are wonderful. Now we move over to these, and this is these are Corova cookies, and they're by Mary Ackmeyer of St. Paul. Corova. What does that mean? Is there a certain reason for that? Corova. Are we, we okay? We don't know. It was yeah. taken from a, uh, actually from a recipe from a really famous uh, cookbook author, Dory Greenspan, and then Mary kind of changed it up a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. All right. We move on to the next one. These are cranberry cornmeal shortbread mm -hmm. cookies, and Mary Martin of Minneapolis made those. Yeah and then used a little cute cut cutter here and made those, and those are beautiful. They look really good. That you guys they are. That was our winner last year. That yeah. was winner last year? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and shortbread. Oh, I, know. I always buy shortbread, but I never make it, right? Yeah, no, lots it, of butter, right? Lots of butter. It's um, really easy to do, and this particular one has uh, dried cranberries in it, so it has just a nice kind of sweet flavor from the cranberries. And oh, wonderful. A little so, sugar yeah. on top. And rosemary. Rosemary in this one as well. Oh, so okay. it's a little bit different. I so. like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next one are cranberry pecan swirls, and they were made by Ann Poole. Ann Poole of Prior Lake, by the way. And look how pretty those are. And those are, um, the, you roll them out. So these are these refrigerator cookies then? Basically, yeah. Okay. That's what it is. You roll out the dough. You put in pecans, uh, a pecan and fresh cranberry filling that's uh -huh. chopped up. Roll it up and uh, freeze it overnight, and then you slice it up, and it's pretty darn easy to oh make. Oh my goodness! So. And she had a great story because she was obsessed yeah. with cranberries. Yeah. So every time she sees a cranberry recipe, she has to try it. And she saw this in a magazine, I don't know, in London, 20 yeah. years ago, and really? kept it and, yeah. and made it. Yeah. Yeah. And again, all the stories behind all the recipes, which there always is one, are all in here as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. The the. The shortbreads are so good. Wow. Okay. Now the next three are the three that we actually made that are on our Facebook page, which is really fun. So Elaine Perbonich of New Brighton made these chocolate decadence. Okay, Bob, you want to try that one? Are you waiting sure. for the pumpkin? Well, I was waiting for okay. the pumpkin. I was waiting for the pumpkin. <laughs> All right, and um, Amy Carlin of Minnetonka. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, the pumpkin cookies are from Amy Carlin. Yes. Okay. okay, people, I love pumpkin cookies. Do you know any story behind any of these? You know, they were a favorite of her mother's, and she, and she just decided to enter it in the contest because she'd grown up eating them. Oh. Yeah. And everybody loves pumpkin, right? Yeah. Well, right. And yes. if you're sick of pumpkin spice, yeah. there's nothing like those cookies. They're great. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, we have a cashew lemon shortbread from Jean Livingood <sighs> of Detroit Lakes, <laughs> which is great as well. I really like it. Oh, right, my David. goodness. Okay, yeah, do, you guys, do you guys have a favorite? I'm going to do shortbread. I've said I love the shortbread. I've been wanting yeah. one of these. Yeah. The Who are the show? judges? We have um, a group of. Uh, professional bakers mm -hmm. and people who have been part of the contest for a long period of time mm -hmm. and who's 
whose palate we trust. And, and, and us, us too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is not <laughs> bad thing. Dave <laughs> and I would be more than I happy to come up to his court. I would be the worst <laughs> cookie judge friend. ever. Any fun <laughs> stories that you recall that are kind of uh, unique that go along with the cookies? Well, you know, readers uh, follow trends the way everybody else mm -hmm. does. And so we get, re you know, uh, one year we got a rush of kale cookies. Yeah. Which, you know what, kale doesn't really work in a cookie. Yeah. But it was, oh. a, it was a really, it was a noble effort, but no, yeah. don't ever bake with don't. kale. Oh, I wonderful. totally agree. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you have a great <laughs> recipe, remember that in September you want to send that in. And there are a ton of events that you guys are doing as well that go along with your cookbook. Right. That's right. We'll be at Barnes & Noble um, the Monday after Thanksgiving, and we're also part of the Talk of the Stacks at the Central Library a yeah. few days later on the 29th. That's what so. I was looking at, the Talk yep. of the Stacks, which is really mm -hmm. fun. That's in the downtown Minneapolis Library, yep. and that's happening on the 29th. Yep. And what a great gift for Christmas. I mean, this is a great gift, this book. <laughs> so once again, all three of the recipes that we made, the last three, are on our Facebook page, and all the rest are on carolevin.com. And of course, you can grab that cookie book as well. Thanks, guys. We really appreciate right. you coming oh, in. We really